and so that's pretty much it. Um, I've gone through in detail all the different options when it, to consider when it comes to creating a virtual machine. Um, there are quite a lot, quite a lot of things to think about. Um, but at the same time, don't get bogged down when it comes to creating a VM. Go ahead and play with it, learn, make some mistakes. Don't make mistakes in production, but play around with the ecosystem and learn how these different things interact. Um, this is pretty much what I've learned and what I've read. I'm just trying to sh throw that out to you in as, in as uh, condensed form, in as condensed and an effective way as I possibly can. Um, I think the only thing that's left to do is run the virtual machine. So let's go ahead. I'm going to drop all this to reduce costs because I don't want anything crazy. Let's reduce. We don't need this disks actually. We just simply use the operating system one. Uh, let's use preemptibility. Remember, this will drop costs even more. Let's actually just use one. We've got our cost down to $9. I think we can use SSD, an HDD here instead of SSD and drop that a bit more. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Run it. So you can see our instance has its uh, internal IP that we set to the 0. 0. Uh, the, the 0. 0.3. This, by the way, if you click that, you get the network interface card information. And that tells you what network it's part of and all this other stuff. Remember we had enabled the uh, file. Remember we had enabled um, internet access on these different ports. So that's we have that already. So if you look at our firewall rules, remember we had enabled uh, internet access. That's the 0.0.0.0 on these different ports. And um, SSH isn't by default enabled on port 22. If you create a VM and do not enable this, um, you will not be able to SSH into your VM. So let's just go back to our VM instance. And if you want to connect to your virtual machine, go ahead and click SSH, open up a new window and give it a bit of time, especially if it's the first time you're SSHing into this virtual machine. And that will give us access to this VM. 